Wake up, pretend to be dead. Pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Classic move right there. Classic move. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm, I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. I can hear the Lord calling my name. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda... I bequeath you all my earthly possession. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Aww. Aww. I finally opened my eyes and set up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Classy, classy. Traxy! Traxy, will you be my dream daddy? I asked Chaff they'll be my dream daddy. They didn't say yes or no. So I'm just going to ask you in, like, you know, individually. I finally opened my eyes and set up. I'm, oh, I've already read that. Morning, Manda Panda. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. You're fucking miles away from me. What the fuck are you? A fucking sniffer dog? Too late, lit. First come, first serve. You got to be on it. You gotta be on it. You gotta let that confidence show. You gotta be right in there. Shoo! Waste no time. Pet every dog. Well, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you definitely been my dream daddy. Hell yeah! Right then. Should we make ourselves? Oh whoa. <laughs> That's not me. That's not really me either, though. That, I don't, that's not me. Actually, yeah. Hair. Oh, you gotta be hairy, haven't you? I love this. I love the tummy. I love the tummy. I love the tummy hanging out. The tummy hanging out makes it for me. Is this the look? Which one are we going for? One, two, three, four, five, or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Which one? Which one do you think? One to six. Number five, this one. Solid choice, a solid choice. <laughs> That's me. Number three. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no loving out of there. It's just skin and bones. This is the bag of bones, like a KFC bucket right there. Just, just, th just eating all the meat off and then thrown away. This one? Ah, oh, no, no, five. It has to be number. We're gonna go number five. That lovely belly pooping out right there. You're number four. Really? Damn, son. Hmm. I'm this one. This is me right here. That's me. But look at the dick on number three. Oh. Oh, shit, yeah. This guy's got... This guy's got a fat package. There's a bit of a chode going on right here. Yeah, look at these guys. They've got nothing. Got third leg Lenny for number three. <laughs> We're going to go with this guy. It's not about... He's, 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 he's going to go for the ultimate plug-up. He's no skinny long dick. <clears throat> right, we're going to go here. Right, I'm going to go extra pasty. Head. <laughs> so we've got like full chiseled features. This is so adorable. Look at these cheeks. No, listen. <laughs> you might not. Oh, you have a bit of a shadow on it. We're going to go chiseled. Oh, look at that chin. You watched the one you hear what he sent to Robin? Whoops. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. Yeah, did a whoopsie. Well, story of my life. Not proud of it, but it happened, so. Oop. My bad. That was my bad. 
Ah, the other one. Damn, fucking full on Goku. Whoa, there's a Bob Ross right here. Guy from Street Fighter. No, was it Street Fighter or King of Fighters? I can't remember which one. Goku right here? I don't think so, though. What's a dad haircut? That's a pretty dad haircut, isn't it? Like this one, or where was it? Is that it? This is a dad haircut. Bald on top, hair in the back. This one? Nah, no. I like... This one. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, color. Should we be going through a, a midlife crisis? It's hot pocket. Should we? Ha should we be having a midlife crisis? Pink. We'll go pink. I think. Yeah, we'll pink. Eyes. Super kawaii. <laughs> I'm a magical, I'm a ma magical dream daddy girl. Ooh, oh, ooh, look at the ass on that. Whoa. Oh, the seduction. Look at the seduction. Oh, that's seductive AF. Mm. Not sure if dead... Or homeless man. Ugh, oh my god. I cannot believe he just said that. Woo. <laughs> Hold on, Goku. <laughs> oh my god. Big shock. It's either going to be this one or this. I think we're going to go seduction. We're definitely going to go seduction. You can't really see the purple. Sediction, more like. We're gonna go full sediction. I'm gonna go purple. We might not be able to see it, but I like purple. Noses. We should give this guy the prettiest face, like ever. That's the child snatcher from uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Teba, hello, hello. Should we give him this, like, cute little nose as well? We'll give him this cute little nose right here. That's adorable. Can we zoom in? No. Oh, my God. We're going to give him some right big. Like. Proper dick-sucking lips. Where, where are they at? Oh, there they are. Oh, the smirk. The smirk. Oh, cheeky, cheeky. I like the smirk. I like, I do like the smirk. He needs pants. He needs less pants, Jim. He needs less pants. Going through a phase? No, 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 no. I wish they had, like, hot hot pink or hot red oh oh i don't know now i'm it's between this one or this one smirk or the what do you reckon the little cheeky smirk like you are coming home with me today or is that yeah we're going to go we'll go with we'll go with these the brows right then Right, let's first of all they gotta be pink. Now we can start. Oh no no no, that's too angry. They miss some proper dad brows. Why do they look so angry though? Why are they also Maybe it's the eyes, isn't it? Oh please. I think I might go for these ones. Look at those the proper granddad brows right there. Oh, whoa, it looks so feminine. Yes, yes, we've got to make him cute. 
Uh, pink as well. Or should we go a different color? Should we go like green? Nah, it's a bit. Oh, then we can't see the the lips, so we can't do that. <gasps> yes, yes. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. I oh, fuck that. We're not having go the glasses. Oh, piercing? Oh my god, well, who the fuck has this piercing? Except for Frankenstein, who the fuck is doing that? I don't like, no, 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 no. Piercings are horrible. No, 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 no. How many people in chat have a piercing on their face that's like... Including the ears and stuff. How many of you have a piercing? I have zero, so. You have ear piercings? Fair enough, fair enough. Sounds, uh, that sounds usually, just the usual, right? Ear or the ear piercing. You don't have piercings at all, like not even your ears. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. Get with that, get with that. It's not for everyone, right? It's not for everyone. I think uh, piercings are usually like... The ears are usually the place that you... Uh, you do, right? But some people just go mental with it. Looking like they've just been like shot with a shotgun. Just shrapnel all over their face. But hey... Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? You have a friend named Kia who has a temple piercing. How does that work, though? Because don't piercings need, like, a little... Like, a thing on the other side to stop them from popping out? Like, what do they do? Just, like, cut off the top of your skull and just, like, come inside? Like... Come inside. <laughs> oh no. And then I go inside and then just like put a little stopper on the other side so it doesn't fall out. How the fuck does that work? My mum is a horror story, which is why I refrain from doing it. Oh, fair enough. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's messed up. That's the sound. <gasps> OMG. Oh my god, we could be a superhero. Maple Bay, bitches. I'm liking it. I am liking this. Kitty cats. No. Eh. Mm, bit, bit retro. Nah, we're going. That's a midlife crisis right there. I think it's got to be burger. The fried egg titties, or this full-on suit. What? What do we think? Burger. Egg tits. Suit. Suit. One for one for suit. Suit, two for suit. Three for suit. I think I have to go with suit then. All right, here we go. Let we look. We are looking. Should we? May, I don't know. Should we change the hair? The fuck is that? The fuck is that piece of shit? Oh, it looks like he's got like it's like Mozart or up in here. <laughs> I am, I am. A oh my god. Absol actually, like, hot as fuck. This hair reminds me of the Super Seducer guy. I don't know if you guys have ever played Super Seducer. No, 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 no. We're going with this. Oh. Name him as well? What? Shall, we, shall I do a pun on my name? But then everyone's going to say it to me. I can't just like, like, just call out myself by giving myself a shit, like a name, which is just then going to, people just going to mock me for and tease me for.
Fuck it, we'll do it anyway. Mr. <laughs> Soup Noodle? He's got a fat noodle, more like. Mr. Dad. No, 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 no. There you go. It's got his old, it's got his, his mother's maiden name was Cox. So he double barreled it at the end. Double barreled it. So so he just moved it to the first name now. I think that's good, right? That that's decent. La <laughs> Larry. What was that game called? Like that Larry game where he he goes to all the porn stars and stuff. That was a. Uh... You don't like that one, Jem? You're not feeling that one. Legend Suit Larry, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's a throwback. I, I played that when I was, like, back in, like, 15 or something. Right, that's good. Or should we just go... Mike Cox. Mike Cox. That's good. Be that dad. Be that dad. Boom. And now my, <laughs> my daughter's name is Amanda Cox. <laughs> totally ruined my daughter for, <laughs> for a good proportion of her life. this button I'll save it saving okay we're good <clears throat> oh, did, did I fall asleep packing I got most of it done I think oh look at me I'm so sexy searching around the room it looks like I did a pretty good job every box is sealed except for one wait straggler hmm. what what's in it looking to the box I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I don't know where they're from in America, but that's pretty much the only American female voice I can do, so yeah. I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the panel. We've been looking through. Looking sharp. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Hell yeah. The only way your father and I. The only way your mother and I. I think we're going to go mother. <coughs> natural birth. We'll go with that. She's uh, non-adopted. Because, you know, she's Amanda Cox. I, w I don't want to lose that f last name. But then I found the way. The way of the D um, just just ruined it. I, you know, I just couldn't could no longer do it. The way of the D. The only way your mother and I could get you to stop crying was to put sunglasses on you. But whatever. We tried to take them off. You'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween from when you were maybe four? Oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess dragon. Solid choice. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? Probably cried at everything, Amanda. You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself in the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, yep, definitely repress that. Right. Yeah, definitely repress that memory. My sister had a dragon costume and a princess. Co is this you? Is this is the? Is this the? Wait, is isn't this like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? What was it? Uh, Donatello? <laughs> is that not his mask at the top? And this was you in your horse phase. Yeehaw, cowgirl! That's so adorable. Dad, oh my god. I believe in that plush horse, Sir Horsington the Brave. You had Piglet from Winnie the Pig, from Winnie the Pooh. You mean? I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dead arms. That's right. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. 
I don't know. This photo looks so innocent that it's not even that bad. Yeah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your scar bra, scar band. Alex, kid. The Scamionist Manifesto was a <laughs> had a chance back in the day. <laughs> That's a great name, Scamionist. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Fuck yeah. Hey, it's MRP. Damn, look at the fucking choppers on this girl. Holy fuck, she could chew down a forest. Oh my god. Wonder if she's in like a fucking nature reserve now. Building dams. Is that a Robin? <laughs> Uh, no, Dad. That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Oh. <laughs> Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I'll never stop mixing those two up. Uh, Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, give it like a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who pooped her pants during a sleepover, fight a flaming tennis ball at the police station, tried to steal people's pets. <laughs> pooped her pants. Dad, that was me. I did that. Oh. Ew. Get the fuck out of my house. Oh. 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 I was having a sleepover with MR. Who is an MRP? She never told anyone, though. True blue, that MRR. Yeah, right? So, chat, next question. Anybody ever shit themselves on a, on a sleepover? Anyone poop their pants at a sleepover? Come on, safe space in the <laughs> You can tell us. Anyway, I got to show this to MRR later. She'll get a kick out of it. First photography award you ever won. Oh, wow, you're, you're, uh, yeah. She's just got, look at this, it's like progressively just, just changed this bow into the hairband and stuff. A, lady, a ladybug. Can't say you have. Well then, Lich. Yeah, I got a $20 gift card to McFridays. <laughs> then you got food poisoning from the Cheatsy Tostada Blasts. That sounds fucking great. I would definitely get food poisoning from that. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z, Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh, it's Mama, <laughs> it's Mama Cox. Hmm. Find the bits of silence. <laughs> that wasn't even adopted you. It wasn't even your real mother. Good shit on kid. <laughs> Hey, you're born. You got food poison from Applebee's once. Sent me to ER. You been back since? We got into a car accident right there in the middle of the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course, I was freaking out. And the little lady who crashed in, so I was freaking out. I don't know what to do. And everyone's freaking out. And we were like, ah! So I got out and punched the old lady because she was like, you killed my kid, son of a bitch! Watch where you go, going, silly ass, bold ass bag! And I punched her and I fucking kind of saved with the steering wheel and bust and I beat her ass right then and there. But then I noticed that we left you inside the hospital, so I was just like, oh, whoops. So I helped her up and then I stole her wallet. But your mother, oh man. She holds my hand, looks my dad really in the eyes. The karma's never seen her. She says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Okay, I totally misread where that story was going. She was right, you know. I started the pitch for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. Only happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Come on, Pops. We gotta finish packing. Moving man won't, won't wait forever. My voice is gonna really hurt from fucking reading all this. You're right. I can't believe they're not voiced this fucking game yet. Mender and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. The fucking car is a shit tip. You gotta, you got, don't tell me your cars in real life look like this, chat. This is fucking, this is an absolute shit tip. Don't let your fucking car look like this. Yeah, sure, you have a, like a bottle or something at the front, but look at all this shite everywhere. 
fucking all that trash. Fucking Lulu. What the fuck is this? Lulu. Lulu. Fucking Hawaiian shit hanging in the fucking mirror. So memories here. How to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. You don't have Valentine's Day in Brazil? Huh. Ah. Another. Just a scam holiday anyways. And it's not even a holiday. It's just a scam day. Hey, remember when I sat at the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. I didn't know you have things. They're too busy dating. Not got enough time for just one day. They're spreading that dates and love all across the world. You do? You got all this shit in your car, Tracy? Clean that shit up, man. Get it all, get it all out of there. You expect, you expect to take me on a hot date? That's my dream daddy, and you've got all your papers and candy wrappers and stuff everywhere? Wow. You won't be getting any uh, any service from me in this car. No way. Sorry sorry to break your, break your balls there. Oh, man, I have a Valentine's date. My car is ballless. <laughs> Uh, you do? Oh, that's great. That's great, man. Wait, where are you going on your hot date? Applebee's? Do you have a date with tomorrow with your girlfriend watching Beauty and the Beast through video chat? Oh, hell yeah. I, uh, I have a date today. It's, uh, called With You Chat. <coughs> and, uh, we're playing this, so buckle in. Just now you're going somewhere. You haven't decided yet. Oh, that's nice, though. That's nice. That's really nice. You know, that, that surprise kind of thing. That, woo, spontaneous. Hey, let's go to Costco's. Go to Costco. Traxy, go to Costco. Get one of those big fucking pizzas. Nice big hot dog. Fuck yeah. Yeah, and just eat that hot dog seductively. You know, look into her eyes when you just bite down on it. Let her know what it's really all about. You know, just just anytime you need any dating advice, just you just come to me. I know all the tricks. Yeah, uh, yeah. Remember when I shot the other front window, pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Wow, <laughs> not pretending. You are a very imaginative child. What a really supportive dad. Not holding it against her. Hey, you remember that you little shit when you fucked up the window? Hey, remember when I broke the back window plate? We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Fucking problematic. I'm jealous trying to more about she gets a foot long hot dog. <laughs> I found more stuff to break in a new place. Well, no, no. Memories to make, stuff to break. That's pretty much you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready to move. Yes, I am. Do, 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 do. I'm ready. The moving man begins to pull away, and I get in. I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. He's all fogged up, mate. So, so what? So sell me on a cool new pad. I clear my voice. Clear my. <laughs> I clear, clear, <laughs> I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. In nestled in a beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features washer and dryer hookups, nay, a two-car garage, no, 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 but multiple places to sleep. Not only are that there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where, yes, 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 you can catch a wink. What a deal! I mean, I sleep. If sleep weren't for the week, yeah, chat. If you're if you're sleeping, you're weak. Get out of there. Get out of that sleeping routine. Who who needs a healthy sleeping routine when you can live life tired, angry, grumpy, and fueled on caffeine and monsters? Get out there and make an absolute ass of yourself for being tired. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hit them head on, fueled with caffeine. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, pops. I keep it real. Solid, solid daughter. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Positivity. An absolute radiant daughter I've raised. When I was like one, apparently my brother, I brought my brother's Lego creations. 
Well, I mean, depends if you ate them as well. That's that that's the ultimate like uh you know domination move right there. Just fucking just destroyed them and just ate them. Like, fuck your Lego creations. It's like, oh, oh shit, man. This <laughs> fucking oh, we seem to have uh, <laughs> my siblings and Oni, a real life Oni. <laughs> Good spin. I think it's great. Won't be any close to all a lot. Won't we be close to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some time. Let's move the fucking mouse cursor for a minute. Not going to happen, Pops. You don't think your mum be very happy if you ate Legos? No, I don't think so either. But, I mean, at one, I don't, I don't, well, hey, you could even do that. Handful of Legos, crawl over to your mum. Just fucking look her dead in the eye. Just fucking throw them down your throat like you're popping pills or something. It's like, yeet. If I can have fun with this, mom, time to worry. And I got a Lego stuck in my nose <laughs> and I was doing I had to have the EMS people get it out. <laughs> Is that why you're so smart, Traxy? It reminds me of Homer from The Simpsons when he got a crayon stuck in his nose. And then he becomes really dumb, but then they pull it out and he becomes really smart. So when you pull, got it pulled out, like you're like super smart. Yep, 200 IQ. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I'm just making a coffee. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on that attitude. Oh, nice. The only thing I stick up my nose is air. You know what? I don't know. Yeah, true. It's so funny, though, because, like, Anyone, do you remember those Smarties? Anyone? I remember those, got one of those when I was two. Though. Yeah, at least I think Smarties are just the, a UK thing. And obviously, uh, oh, do they have them in America? I don't know. But I think, well, Smarties, Smarties are Nestle, right? I think they were like UK and uh, Australia and New Zealand, maybe. You do have Smarties? Are they the same, though? Oh, they're the same? Oh, that makes sense. That's a different. Yeah. Did you know they, they banned the blue ones? They banned the blue ones in the UK for a bit because they were they sent kids hyperactive. Yeah, we used to have um we used to have a, an advert on the TV. We're just gonna get distracted from the game. We used to have an advert on TV in the UK that used to talk about um Smarties and it's like only Smarties have the answer because when you used to pop the the uh. The lid of the Smarties, it used to always have like a fact or something on the inside. Kinder Egg. Kinder Eggs are so good. Kinder Eggs are great. They banned egg thing. Yeah. Well, maybe American kids should stop being so fucking dumb and stop eating everything. Uh, chocolate. What about this bit of plastic and we'll fucking eat it. Mm. Maybe it's like a Tootsie Pop. Just got to eat it all. Mm. <coughs> Dumbass kids. Kids are so stupid. And that fucking American kid that fucking copied Naruto as well. And they fucking buried their kid in the sand. Are these kids... Are, are, you, the general population of US parenting needs a three-point turn. You got someone stuck in the nose I don't recommend, but the doctors were pleased it was a food item. Yeah, well, I was going to say, Smarties are a hard shell, right? But surely after a while, wouldn't it just melt? Like, the chocolate inside it would melt, and then it would just crack, right? You don't have them anymore? I think we have them still in the UK. I don't know how to do that either. Literally, if I ever go to the UK, I'll send you some. The, yeah, the Tide Pod Challenge. Whoa, yeah! Chocolate in your nose, right? A whole chocolate tin in your nose. Holy shit. It's not chocolates. Wait, what? Have you ever met the na Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighbors seem pretty quiet. Yeah, Smarties in, are like chocolate and they're coated in like a, uh, a sugar. And it's just different colors. So they're definitely not the same, no. But the neighbors seem pretty high quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. 
I'm in the last year of high school and practically dust. Fucking tell me about it. Yeah, you're a real, real fucking pain in the ass. Don't you dare. Oh, sorry. Senior citizen. Dad, I knew where this was going. Citizen. There you go. I knew it. <coughs> Isn't like... Like M&M's but larger. Are they though? Oh yeah, they are actually. I, I was thinking of like peanut M&M's. Oh, speaking of peanut M&M's, I might order like 1.6 kilos of peanut M&M's again from Amazon and just sit there and eat them all. I'm just going to ignore that. Hey, hey, Lich, what color is smarty did you get stuck up your nose? Just just out of curiosity, really. I'm just going to ignore that. But I won't forget it. Peanut M&M's are good. They're fucking top tier. I love the biscuit ones as well, the crunchy ones. <laughs> but I won't forget it. So what's the item number on the new house agenda? Item number one. Oh, my God. Reading. <clears throat> so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first, we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Fuck the neighborhood. We're going to live inside like a recluse. I think it was a blue one. My mum pills that people... I'm going to ask your mum about that story. I'm going to ask her. I'm come all the way to New Zealand and just be like, Hey, Mrs. Litch's mom. Could you uh, could you tell me that story about the one time that uh, Litch got her uh, and the smarty stuck up her nose? She'd be like, yes, yes, yes. Sit down here. Have a fucking... We'll have a cup of tea. And I'd be like, oh, thanks for the story, Mrs. Litch's mom. Bye. See you next time for more story time. She'd be like, bye. And then I'll come home. Pop schools, you have to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. <laughs> Lich is always a bait. <laughs> also, chocolate in your nose is not a bad thing because you can unknowingly swallow it. Because you unknowingly swallow your own snot. Mmm! Chocolate candied flavored snot. Mmm. Nice. Oh, look. Blue snot. Yeah, there's uh, there's real Smarties, and then there's uh, fake American Smarties. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown, and for the for sale sign is still in the yard. Wait, no, not like that? What do you mean? Hiya! All right, all right, calm your fucking tits, Amanda. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. All right, cool you jets. Man, all that karate chopping tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Holy fucking shit, you've got less cardio than me. Squire now has brownie points from my mom, although yesterday she asked me, do you trust him though? So I think points were lost without him knowing. Wait, what? How did I lose points? Wait, what the eh? <laughs> Wait, trust me in what way? It's just lots of different levels of trust. Do I trust he's not a, an, an AI, sentient AI? Yes, I do. Do I trust that he's not going to come into our house and hoard all our stuff like he does in all the video games? No, I'm not. You know, there's different levels. What kind of level are we talking about? It's 10 a.m. Hey, what's wrong with a 10 a.m.? <clears throat> oh, they got all some doggos in the park. Should we go and see the doggos? Let's go see the doggos. You know what? Thank you for moving to an area where the dog, dog, dog to person ratio is very high. Now you're imagining. All I want is the best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency which I interrupt conversations to yell, dog, to rock it way up. Yeah, I mean, you do that a lot already. Hey, it's a dog! Spot on. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny-shaped rock. Oh, if you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to the park around the corner. I just said you've never given me a reason <laughs> to not trust you. That's good, right? That sounds positive. Or is that just a positive swing on a... I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's not really... I don't know. Wrong man, wrong answer maybe. Just, uh, just, just reload the save, Lich, and just try one of the other options. 
That's always a good idea. Ren and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street and flowers are in the bloom. And the faint smell of nearby barbecue drifts. Oh, barbecue. I'd love to do a barbecue. This place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Yeah, let's trash it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? Government operative. Exactly. Yes, I can totally do that in my life. Get it done. It'd be like that uh, movie with the guys that can um, re um, that can rewind time in the family, right? And they go back and redo it. It was like a rom com, I think, as well. I can't remember that what the movie was called. <coughs> or onto you, baby. I tell my mom you make me happy watching your streaming videos. That's great, Jimmy. That's great. Hell yeah. Thank you. Hope you <laughs> your mom's just gonna be like, okay. <laughs> I don't know. My mom would just be like. Uh, I don't know. I mean, my mum would be quite positive if I told her that. But my mum would probably go, show me some of their videos. And I'd be like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't want well, let's not go that far, mum. It's a different, <laughs> different, different generation. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, for one, venture but a small part. Toddlers chase each other through the playground. Dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our over way over to it when... The baby comes out of the out of the bushes with an M16 and comes slow down. Just kidding. Heads up. Ow, mother! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. My my perfect chiseled features. My, my mom is the first per, per, kind of my favorite person in the world. Hell yeah, my mom as well. I love my mom. My mom's so adorable. Woof. <laughs> Woof. A corgi with oh, ah, look at the corgi. A corgi with a neat, neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. <laughs> did you throw this? Did you throw this thing on my head, doggo? My mum would definitely only do, definitely do not, do, do not, do not tell your mum anything. Then, just say I don't know. You're watching d documentaries. What? Bark! <laughs> Bark! <laughs> Woof! He runs around in circles and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh my god, this is the cutest. We're taking him home. Let's just kidnap the dog. Impart you, pour upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof! Woof! I just say I'm watching cartoons. Solid answer. How did you know? Woof! <laughs> my god, this dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in Hawaiian... <gasps> what a fucking Chad. What an absolute Chad. This is the guy. This is the guy. He has the same rotund belly than I do. I, this guy clearly enjoys a meal. My mom has heard me watching Square and they both have conversations through me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, you know, you can just, you gotta, you know, you, you never know, you might have to translate something to New Zealandish. So, you know, you like them big, you like them chunky. Exactly, exactly. No skin and bones. You know that after, after the big, the big go around, this guy is gonna treat you to a nice big steak and some like mashed potatoes, not just, hey, should we go and get a, should we go and get like, a little like a, should we go and get like a smoothie and have like a, a granola bar? And it's like, no, no. Yeah, no. Is that, why does it sound Japanese? Duh, you know. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> Frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not with your face. Maybe you should learn to throw better. Prick. There it is. There it is. I'll catch you on my teeth next time. He caught me off guard in this round. Not again. Not ever again. New Zealandish. We all speak English. Well, you know, you never know. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian. By you see that? He's squirting eggplants at me. We're in. I'm Brian, by the way. Brian, this is the guy that does the voice from for the for the t the t the TTS the TSS on uh, done for all the biddies and stuff. Me. Oh my god, sorry. I'm Mike, and this is my daughter Amanda. Look over Amanda, we'll only find her sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Your dog's cool. 
Ah, old Max or sure loves the attention. Fucking dirty attention whore, Max. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Oh, is, this, is it the dog your daughter? Where's yours? Brian gestures over to the grassy knoll where the young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is... Daisy. Fucking A. But of course her name's Daisy. Holy shit. Like, well, like, like father, like daughter, I guess. This is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Kar Karamazov. Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she's reading the comprehension skills of a high schooler. Nerd. She's got chicken wing hair. Daisy also look, also almost looks like you. Ah. Freckle, f these freckles are pretty kinky though, right? The freckles are pretty cute. Uh, well, freckles are pretty cute. They're pretty kinky. Especially on fucking Brian. Mm. How old is she? Ten. She's a pre precocious little youngster. Whoa. My natural dad instinct is I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, it's happening. Dun, dun. Turn my cat backwards. <laughs> they did do Pokemon as well. Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. No, don't send out Daisy. No. Um, I. That's my girl. Mike, Amanda, get in there. Amanda, okay, okay. Mike's HP, 80. Brian's HP, 80. That dun, dun, dun. What's item? Grade card, definitely not. Spit, no. Child art. You fill your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a con 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 Amanda did in the first grade. Brian, cute. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda but Amanda generally appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP, you regain 20. Brian, Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. Nerd! Don't let it get to. She's the president too, of course. Amanda, dang, my house school doesn't even have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Mike is being 90. Brian's is 70. Fuck yeah, let's go. Brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Lose 10 HP. Suck my dick. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry con. You lose 15? Oh shit, oh shit. Item, item. Spelling f B photo. She's gonna be a nerd though. She's. What? Wait. Go back. How do you go back? Uh, there's no back. There's no back. Fuck it. Fumble through your phone's browser. You managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Fucking suck it, bitch. You're not even in 10th grade. Brian, wow. Congratulations. Amanda, Daisy's getting prepped for an annual spelling bee, right? Hopefully, this will be a third win in a row. Yikes, you lose five. Daisy should sold enough candy bars in the air to top prize a canoe. Fucking send her down the fucking river then. Get out of here. How is it that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those st sticky hand thing. It's extra power. You lose 20. Oh, no, chat. W what the fuck is this? Can't switch daughters. <laughs> Last week, unimprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. Brian lose 20. Come on. Did I mention Daddy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy! Amanda, Amanda's just potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't time to bring it up. You lose 10. <sighs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Brag it! Uh, Amanda's in all honors class at this semester. Lose, Brian loses 10. Brian, oh really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. Amanda kind of bristles that one. You, No! Fucking Amanda, you silly bitch! What are you doing? A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10. Brian, you don't say. She should have t talked to Daisy. She actually helped organize the food bank. No. Yeah, Amanda, I'm sure we could find them to do together. It's a... No! 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 Daisy, you fucking muffin... Bitch! You know what, Daisy? I'm gonna fuck your dad. Fuck your awards. I'm gonna fuck your dad so hard he's gonna become my daughter. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac. Down, down next to the coffee shop. 
What a coincidence that we live we live too. Small world, yeah. Daisy and I are a little ranch style house on the corner. <laughs> hey, I've gotta come back strong. We can't let him like downplay. Try and out outperform my Amanda my Amanda Pander. I know that house, it's like ours, but slightly bigger. See, he's just flexing on us. What a lovely place. Well, I don't wanna Something doesn't ta sit right that the daddy's pale white and has pink hair. <laughs> this guy's an absolute chad. It doesn't go outside a lot. Now nah, I did that. That's my design. Definitely. Bye bye. You get the feeling that he was trying to one up us, trying and succeeding. I can't believe the kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? I don't know. Fucking sucking lemons and eating flowers or something. Shame that didn't plan pan out. Could have made it in cooperative comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative riding. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let's never speak of the fantastic adventure of Sir Holsington the Brave. An epic in seven parts of it by Amanda Cox. <laughs> nice name. We laugh the horse we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a little bit more. Got to get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. I'm going to go and use this all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. Please don't pirate games. There you go, chat. Don't pirate games. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Man, it's such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on, on a couch when I could just drink coffee at home on my own couch and not to make awkward eye contact with other people? Exactly. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recline next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about because he's technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad. And what's the etiquette when you're having a dirty when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you just go and set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it, or do you leave it there and feel like your face flush hot with the shame as you consider the possibility there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight? And now you hear that jerk who left their mug. Wait, do, you don't say bin in America, do you? We say bin in the UK, but don't you don't know the bin? You don't say bin in America, do you? I said bin to an American once, and they didn't know what I meant. I was like, it's fucking. I like in two syllables, like bit in three syllables and three letters. It's not difficult. A bin, but in. I don't know. This looks very, uh, very American. Maple Bay and shit. We don't have those fancy ass places. And like, could be Australia or New Zealand, I guess. So Australia and New Zealand sound like the places that'll have like fancy ass places called Maple Bay and shit like that. Well, I mean, Australia has Gold Coast, which is pretty. Pretty fancy dancy. Nah, now you're just afraid to mute me. Yes, I am. Yes, Amanda, yes. We walk inside. The inside. Oh, what an absolute fucking hunk. He's a nice hunk of meat. Arr. Gold Coast is trash. Oh, is it? Japanese love Gold Coast. Japanese always go to the Gold Coast when they go to uh, Australia. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge, lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on the rec play next to a little stage. Welcome to the coffee shop. Coffee spoon. Shit. Guys, how's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's, um, it's kind of dumb. Too touristy. I think a lot of places are quite touristy, no? Anything that has anything remotely interesting about it is just people will inevitably end up com coming to see. It does say Gold Coast in the name. I bet when you go there, it's not, there's not even any gold. It gets mentioned in the, po in the poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea to, at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because like the business is still running. But people ask me the question all the time, and they give them the same answer every time, and I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable, and the more I keep talking about man, we're into it now, and I can't stop. There's no coast, is there not? Isn't Australia, like, all coast? Like, the inland is just all aborigine kind of thing? Isn't, like, Australia majoritively built around the, around the coastline? In the middle of it's just, uh... 
There's no gold. There's no coast. There's not even nothing. It's just an empty, empty thing. There's no more coast. Oh, yeah, but it's all just been right away, right? Not right away, but you know. So what will it be? It, I scanned the turbo menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Uh, a Godspeed... A Chai Antward. Antward. That sounds... F an Ice Tegan and Sarah. Oh no, these are all puns. I don't like black coffee, it's too bitter. A Chai Antward. Spicy. Oh, fuck yeah. He loved that shit. The coast is still there. They don't build on the coast. You don't like black coffee either? Yeah. I don't know. Perhaps some, like, different blends might be okay, but majoritively, I'm not a great fan. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die Antwoord. It's a South African rap group. They're pretty well known for their... Uh, it, oh, my God. Why do they use such fucking long words in this game? Evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. The music is as catchy as is disturbing. I'm doing the thing again, but coming right up. And for you, I'll have a Macatito de Marco. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Fuck biggie smalls, bitch. Oh, wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt, Matt, Matt sets to making our drinks and Matt will take a seat on one of the couches. I want one of these li little danishes and stuff as well. Oh, this one looks like a potato. I don't want that. Like, yeah, I like this kind of stuff. Though. Black coffee is good with milk. I don't, I don't know if it's called black coffee. It's with if it's with milk, right? Yeah, I just got trouble reading big words with syllables over four, right? What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than, than you listen to anyway. Hey, oi, oi. I'll disown you right here, right now. Hey, Scar was cool once. It's actually, this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch. It's all good. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. See, this is not comfier than our couch. Okay, it's, com it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems... Not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable as with talking to other people as you are. Fuck yeah. You should totally become friends with him. I think so. So at the moment, we've only met two two papas at the moment. I don't actually know if this guy is even a a possibility. It probably is because he's an actual character in the game. But we've got Brian and we've got Matt. Who who's your who's your who's your Who makes your knees weak, chat, between the two? Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always if I always stay inside and I also don't go outside and I also don't talk to people. Mike is me. I that is this is me. Like I don't meet anybody because well, I just well yeah. I just do this. And this is why I would love to be full time streamer, because then I can always stay inside. I also don't have to go outside and I don't have to talk to people in real life. I don't I love talking to you guys. Because I don't feel anxiety talking to people on the <laughs> fire this yeah i'm gonna just carry on now see we're making progress matt sets our drinks down at the table and immediately burn the roof of my mouth good one hi we're new in the neighborhood i'm my dad mike oh right on pleased to meet you both you ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop you two might get along yeah i'm sure maybe we'll come in from time to time amanda kicks my leg from under the table i'm sure we'll be hearing her a lot you have to talk to people when you go buy groceries no i don't Wait, who are you talking to when you go buy gro I don't talk to anybody when I go talk when I go to buy groceries. <clears throat> Wait, who are you talking to? I don't you I don't use self checkout. There's uh the little uh the little lady at you aren't friendly to the checkout people or the managing self. We no no. I I just I go I get my basket, 
and I put it on the thing and they scan all my items and then they go and I, I, I give the give I give my points card to them, they scan it, they go, Ooh, it's this much money, I give them my money and then I I say thank you and then I walk out and pack my stuff up. I don't I don't talk to them. <laughs> oh, is it normal? Is that not normal? Does people talk to the red the the the, the registry late the register late checkout ladies? I don't talk to them. I've only ever talked to two register ladies. I say thank you. Yeah, well, that's that's called good manners. That's that's not really that's not really talking to them. <laughs> that's just like bumping into someone and just going, "Oh, sorry." You know, what did you do today? Yeah, talk with someone. Ah, oh, how long for? Ah, oh, about one second when I said thank you and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's talking at them. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You know what? Let me. Oh, yeah, we did have a voice. Let me get you guys an opinion on something. Mike goes to the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe. I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda nods vigorously. She knows the game. Yeah, we need to give the nana bread a taste. If you want us to do free, free creative labor, I think that would be commens... Co... Commensurate, commens commensurate with, and uh, I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right? Yes, that. Matt serves each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. <laughs> this guy's a fucking revolutionary. Blow the world away. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's, the grateful banana bread, right said banana bread. Right said banana bread is like right said Fred, right? Grateful, grateful Fred. Number two, number one. Don't say number three, somebody. I was going to go with right, said Fred, actually, at the bottom, but... Ah! Pun of the... Gr oh, it's Grateful Dead. Ah. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Only him, son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, what's Grateful Dead? I don't, I don't know music. Grateful Dead. Oh, it's a rock band. Ah, oh, what? it. Ah, oh, 1965. Oh, maybe I know the song. I just don't know the name of the. Um... Oh, right, said Fred was British, 1989. Oh. Do three, then. There's still a lot of rock music. Fuck yeah. I used to listen to a lot of music when I was, like... When, especially when I was, a, like, growing up and stuff. I don't listen to anything now. I listen to... The only... Do you know the music I listen to now? Is the fucking game um, or original soundtracks. I said game there, not just gay original soundtracks, because I don't know what those are, but yeah. Right. We're going to go right said... Oh, fuck. Look at that. I love that shit. Wait, are the hearts good or are the squirting uh, eggplants the best? Ow. That. That actually has a nice ring to it. Fuck yeah, it does. Really? Yeah, right, right said banana bread. Sounds strong decisions. That's art, baby. Just call me up anytime. I'm pretty good with naming stuff as well. I mean, Mike Cox, ex excellent name. 
I wanted to say baby because I thought it sounded cool, but once I start, said it and realized it just didn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Yeah, leave it to the professionals, baby man. Baby boy. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. <laughs> nice. See, it sounds good when you say it. Damn right. Well, next question. Does anyone have any tattoos in chat? Anyone got any of these tattoos in chat? Not these ones, but like just tattoos in general. This guy looks fucking cool as fuck, though. Across the man. Oh, my God. He's going to fucking rob me. He sits by himself brooding over a cup of coffee. or was me just for a moment. Mm -hmm. I haste to look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? No. We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? We get. Let's unpack this shit. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving in is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is that right? Behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. Even pay? Yeah, I paid him with my um, witty remarks. You're fine, pops. Let's go home. The low, the, my computer loads the game too quickly between scenes. I can't even read the, the dad tips. This is bullshit. I get to work unpacking the various boxes. Get that fucking cursor out of the way. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dry unit is both washing and drying and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. How is it in such a state though already? Now all of this stuff right here this would never exist in my house. I mean, you know, like obviously, you know, when you're like married and stuff, then you've got to you've got to kind of just like bear with it. But this this is far too much shit. I don't like this is just shit everywhere. I don't like any of this. A picture on the wall, maybe one, fine. Couch, okay. Table, this is all too much shit in here. Too much shite over here. We don't this does not need to be here. This right here, no. No stuffed animals on I've got nothing. I've got nothing like that. I have nothing. Well, you know, that's fine, I guess. Like, just not like too many. Just one may be okay or whatever, but it's not really my bag. Not really. I, just, I don't like stuff. I hate stuff. I will hoard stuff happily in video games because it's not real. But in real life, I, I, I love getting rid of stuff. Anything I can throw away makes me feel the best. I love throwing away stuff. Man, I emptied my entire apartment. I got rid of my couch, I got rid of my table, I got rid of my chairs, I got rid of uh, a, a table as well. I got rid of so much stuff and it felt so good. I've got so much empty space. It feels great. Also, my little robo maid can go around it's super easy. First visitor? Fuck yeah. Walk over there and open it. Hello. A handsome, clean cut man. He's pretty, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty, 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 he's pretty, 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 pretty. Pretty, uh, pretty, 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 pretty sexy. You'd have flowers on the co on the coffee slash dining tables and pictures on the wall. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <coughs> Hell. Hello. Hello, nurse. Hey. Joseph. Where, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. He, he, he seems like, the way he dresses seems like, you know, I don't know. He went to one of those um, colleges where you have you get paid for like he's got all those rich white kids that just like murder someone and then their dads or whatever will just pay it off and then you get out and then they're just like Ooh, whoopsie killed that person. It's okay though. My my, my dad paid us off. Well, I'm just gonna get a slap on the wrist. So no, but fuck Joseph. No Joseph, eat my ass. Actually, don't. You might want that. So, no. Just get out of here. I saw you moving van and thought I'd bring some cookies. We can keep bringing cookies, though. My daughter, Christy, wanted to tell you to let you know she baked them herself. Just leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. We both share it a laugh. <laughs> Fucking rat, man. You're a rat. An absolute rat. Get out of my house. Cookies. So nice to meet you. Joe hands her plants like plates of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, crackers. <laughs> Amanda disappears with it. This is de that's definitely not American. Do Americans say, oh, crackers? 
Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. Children are... Children are fucking just absolute... Just energy saps. And just like you just turn up and they're just like, "Give me your life essence. You need to suffer more as an adult." And you're, like, you say cheese and crackers and try not to. <laughs> That's adorable though. You stub your toe and your mum's standing. And you're like, "Oh, f cheese and crackers, man." I hear that. I mean, they'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. Ugh. What have you done? Oh. Uh. Shit. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met. My social life is already in a tailspin. <laughs> it's too late to move again. You can swear at home, just not in public. That's fair enough. Okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She... Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, she dead. Uh-oh. Now, we're well, one for one now. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, this is uncomfortable. We stand there for a moment. Acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh, she is death. Yeah. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joe's closely, but comply. After a second, I... Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a... <laughs> This guy's pretty cool, actually. I changed my mind. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cool to second. I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What'd you say? Is it a proper bar barbecue? Is it one of these fucking veg veggie, veggie, vegetarian barbecues when you're going to come and you're going to give me like a fucking beetroot steak and fucking salad and shit? That sounds great. My daughter and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake our hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighborino. Just starts working right, stops the thing and turns around. Hey, you know, seriously, raising a kid in your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about shit, stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, oh I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Nice. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gum. You seem nice. Man walks back in the living room, crumbs in her face and cookies in her hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. Should I, should I be taking notes? See, you're already fitting in great. Where do those cookies go? They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants it. I've only got a fucking one option. I think we better get we get a ton of good name points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighborinos in the whole cul-de-sac. Do you say cul-de-sac in the in America though? We say it in the UK, so maybe this is a uh, kind of, kind of, kind of like British, kind of like American, kind of British. Mixed or something? Cool the sack seems proper, like, British kind of thing to say. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts with kindness. Make a nice step outside. Roll up our sleeves. Sure, I'm actually not sure which house is his. I hazard a guess it's the big one, all the well-groomed blondie children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. What up? Oh, my God. It's the twins from that. Fucking what was the movie where they down the corridor? Is it Red Rum? The, is it? Yeah. The fucking anchor on the outside. The house is so fucking stupid. See, this is a real American house, though. You'll never find this in the UK. They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return his nice plate. And thank you for the cookies. Jeez, he's definitely a Joseph. They all look exactly like him. Fucking Aryan piece of shit. The Shining, yeah, yeah, yeah. The twins are in that one, right? They were really good. I mean, I heard they were they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. Well, okay, we're just going to set this plate down in the ground. Real gentle, back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're going to do. Kids bore us into... The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. You can feel the gaze on my back even as we approach our house. I need to get something off my mind about those carbon copy kids. I've always been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. 
There's something about exercise right there. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming behind us. Mike, bro. It's a very familiar face jogging behind us. Craig. Craig. Bro. Bro. Holy. Wow. I haven't seen. Oh, shit. From that voice. I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You look great. <laughs> yeah. Clean up my act. Oh, my God. This kid is so adorable. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, look at him. His little hand. His little socks. And his little. Oh, look at his little hands. Oh. Oh, he's adorable. Oh. Was that be you kidding me? He's ripped. He's fucking ripped as fuck, man. Amanda, this is my friend Quake. Quake. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Oh, well, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Picks up her tiny wrist and waves it. R River girl goes, ah, look at her. She's adorable. Are you babysitting? Not, nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been that long. Feels like one minute. And we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers. And next we're both followers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California. I just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Man, Ryan just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. <laughs> She's actually goes by... She still actually goes by Smashley. And uh, we divorced last year. Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all cup, 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 cup. Yes. Twins. You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right. Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Keg Stan Craig? Oh. Oh, yeah. It was my old college nickname. He got into it because he did a lot of keg stands. Fucking nice uh, explanation. Is that... It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really got to keep my heart rate up. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. Oh, look, <laughs> look at that little booble. Kids fucking just, like, dribble fucking everywhere. You da you jog daily? I jog yearly on January 1st when I promise myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, then just give up at 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You join me sometime. Haha. <laughs> no. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get going. I gotta get going. Better get moving. Good to see you. Craig was a little wave, pulls his earbud, bud, 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 back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and his kids. I'm reeling. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. That sounds kind of, kind of shit I'd done as well. Amanda, he opened a, a jar of marinara sauce and he drank it like it was a thing that no people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was going to do and he said, I quote, it's basically a smoothie. I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, technically, he's not. <laughs> there you go. He's not wrong. There you go. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. I mean, I wonder what happens if I picked a ripped character at the start as well. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay and you're lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget our school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's all it'll cost you for to get me up on my give me up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Speaking of college... Amanda darts over to the envelope, shuffles around, she pulls out one and throws the rest back on the floor. Oh, wow. Okay. This is from McGowan... McGowan's College of... Oh, my God. College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. Ah, uh, it's just an envelope. Yeah, it's just like an entire future. It's not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips open the letter with her teeth. Uh, all right. But okay. Hold my breath while Amanda starts by scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the administrative committee has reviewed her application. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we... 
Her face drops. Regrets to inform you that you were in overtime for your admission to McGowan Art College of Art and Design. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew you shouldn't have put that experiment stuff in my portfolio. The admission officer told me they just went to see portraits or whatever. I pulled Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to have wants to snatch you up for sure. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I know it's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm -hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face is opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma and Amri P are sleeping over tonight, so... <coughs> oh, sorry. You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Amanda's future's gone well. I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah, where are your plans? <laughs> Quick, think of plans. I'm going clubbing. I'm going to put my nice outfit and tear up the dance for all the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkle, the running man, you know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. All right, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... All right, go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the emmers. I'll try to keep it down. You know I'm not going to... You know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. I don't forget that you have to have meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. Chicka, 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 wow. A wake-up text from an unknown number. Rise and shine. Early birds still want to work out. This is Craig, by the way. Smiley face. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without really like, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked out. I'll check my phone again. Hey, birds, still want to get your swole on and ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it's Craig. I do want to catch up. Fuck it. Let's go. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. It's your thing. Meet me at the gym. I stretch my, my bones crack, creak. I feel f got to stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw my blanket off and, hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Man, I must have took me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I recently brushed my, reluctantly brushed my teeth, throwing in the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. My voice is so tired. <laughs> Amanda's future's gone. Yeah. Neighbor is quiet and serene in the early morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front. Stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro, good morning. <laughs> I'm still wearing my fucking suit. Get fucked. It's quiet as well. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee. You ready to kick some butt? Gotta stay po 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 pos posy, dude. With your help, I am. Help. This is it. This is how I die. Ah, it'll be all right, dude. Oh, shit. He didn't like that. No, I forgot about this whole system about hearts and emojis and shit. I thought we were just choosing. Oh, nay. How do we go back? Uh. Before it, we're heading to the gym and immediately intimidated. All these people that like, look break me in half, and it's just like Craig is friends with all of them. Mm. Here's fighting finger guns, all the cool jocks. Finger guns? How fucking old is he? It looked like they could would steal my lunch money and spend on protein shit. Come on, bud, let's warm up. We have to the treadmill, stop walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place, walking. So I know we are on treadmills. Yes. Are those things over there elep 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 elepticals? Very good. It looks like you. Who, who, Craig? Mr. Craigie Tracks. Cool, cool. Is, it, is your name Track? Because you're always wearing these track suits. Because you're always working out, looking buff as fuck. And you want your big, your big ding dong to fucking just bulge through the front. Kinky. What is all this other stuff? Craig laughs. They might be look a bit scary, but I guarantee all of them service specific purpose for building muscle mass. I own one tracksuit and it was for boxing. <laughs> boxing up when you move house. <laughs> Got him. Dab. All that shit. Yeah. Imagine looking like Mike. Can't relate. Uh, no. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. What is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? 
praying to some sort of pain god, trying to crush people's skulls with his thighs, using him. He's he's trying to make his thighs so strong he can crush people's skull with them. Hey, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. <gasps> oh yeah, baby! Fuck yeah! We got the freaking Craig's eggplant. Oh. Craig's turning up the speed. I better do the same. How uh how long have you been doing the buff thing? Couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working on buffing? Oh, I coach my twin softball team. Oh my god, what the fuck is that em emote? It's iron <laughs> thick. Damn. Do I like Cra do I like Craig or the coffee shop guy? I want I want to I want to one up Brian. Brian's a piece of shit. I want to go. On, I want to. I wanna, I'm, I'm tempted by the first guy, but Craig's pretty cool. I like Craig. I like his daughter. His daughter's adorable. You still count as both dagging and buffing. Uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? Um, check out my hot bod. Spend some time in front of the mirror. Man, my Adonis-like figure that I've worked so hard to sculpt. Oh, yeah, you like that. Fuck yeah. Boom. Yes. Ha. By that, I mean lay horizontally and watch bad television. We're jogging now. Oh, good. We're jogging now. I look over to Craig where everything broke a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force straight. This is like me when I play VR. I, I feel my life force draining out. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? Huff? No. I don't like this story. Oh, I thought his name was Huff. Oh my god, he's really bumping up the speed again. I best do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. I'm at that party and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction. So of course I do a sick keg stand and I get everyone cheering. And then I huff. <sighs> Try to steal a fish from a fish tank at the party without my with my bare hands, hands like an idiot. And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me, post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hand that you've scooped off the ground. And you're yelling me that we have to leave. So we're running out of the frat party with the fish trying to give it mouth to mouth at a station. And we get home and get him into a bowl of water. But the pro pro prognosis was grim. And the next day he's uh, alive and well. And they never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never uh, will. Uh, I shoot off the end of the trail and crash to the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand, looks over for me for injuries. I'm fantastic. Oh, I managed to stand up and rub my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. You sure? Yeah. I'm all right. Well, here I brought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. I stare at it with what must be apparently distaste. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh my God. So oh boy, here it goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. That's good for you. It's a special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. I don't know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we could try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. <laughs> No pun intended. Good one. Well, I'm going to put some ice on this. Everything. I'll see you around. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me, literally. Man, I really got to work out on this dad bod. I get home and lie on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh, my God. I'm so old. Oh, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot. It's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda's school in five minutes. I finally put on some clean clothes, a pair of generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I feel pretty haggard, but hopefully no one will notice. I check my watch. I'm relieved to see I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vegas' classroom is? The youth turns around and looks... Oh my fucking God. What an absolute fucking state. You'd personally do the coffee shop guy. The coffee shop guy was pretty hot. Oh my god. What an absolute fucking state. Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega? I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy. You're going to help me or not? Sigh. Fine. Up those stairs to the left. Can't miss him. 
I guess it started to walk around, unable to find Mr. V with Clash of Memory. After a couple minutes searching, I head back downstairs. That punk you sent me was a wild goose chase. I get back to where the low rent Jared Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind when suddenly a head pops out of the clash room next to his locker. Oh. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? Fucking A. Who is this piece of hot ass? Sigh. Fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. I'm now officially 10 minutes late. I glimmer as I walk away. We're not cool. Oh. You must be Mike. This period's all over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Fuck. I don't know. I'm This guy right here. He's pretty... He looks like a caramel candy. Yeah, I'm ready to get sticky with him. Leads me to the back. I take a seat in one of the comically small student desks in the back. I might get stuck. Mm -hmm. All right, where where were we now? Who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Oh. Yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Ha ha ha! Fucking Colin, you piece of shit. Ah. The whole class erupts in laughter. Oh. All right, all right, everybody. Very Colin. Very funny, Colin. Very Colin. Please sit down. Oh. Now, Holden Corfield is an unreliable narrator. And the sense is that bell for the period ends and all the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. Sweet Remember to do... Manchego. Sweet Manchego. Remember to do your reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Oh. Or not, I guess. Miss Vega turns to me and says, oh. middle school is right. Don't, tell, don't, don't you teach high school is? Mm. Both, you know. Budget cuts. Right. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Vega. Please, call me Hugo. I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a brave, brave student and concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Amanda's never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares recent... Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing an assignment. She's been doing rather poorly on tests. I normally chalk this up to senioritis, but this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just want to ask, everything okay? We just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was only to the other side of town. Amanda was more excited about it than I was. Mm -hmm. See if you can talk about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps her heading down this road, I know how important art school is to her and I'd hate to see her miss on an opportunity and the scholarship money. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Anytime. On my way out, I'll stop to think for a moment. I'm turned to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. How huge is your go go, Mr. Hugo? Do, 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 do. Ah. They even catch. They ever catch that rye? Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Got him. So it's been a forced positivity in my life, especially after we lost our mother. I just realized I never even read the first sentence, but it's not important. Amanda must be done with classes for the day, and I'm sure she'll be able to appreciate her. Maybe we can talk to her. Yeah. Pulled up to the carpool, and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So, you talked about Mario Bat Batali the whole time. It was a very productive meeting. Yeah. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Let's go to the f mall food court. Does that sound good to you? Mm. Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Jeez, can't dad take his daughter to the mall? Mm. Will you buy me things? I'll buy you a thing. Singular. Classic. Sounds like a deal to me. We're driving silence for a short while. Amanda plays a game on her phone. I should say something. You know, something when a kid gets older, they may find it hard. They, oh my god. I hate reading. <laughs> Sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. That's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have their parents protective of Because, you know, maybe the parents have to also deal with similar situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? What? Never mind. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was horrible. Mr. Vegas said you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. Oh, I'm fine, Pop. Senior writers and all that. I thought you'd like Mr. Vegas' classes. It's fine. He's fine. Oh, sorry, she's texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh, uh, I can tell whatever it is, she doesn't want me to know anything about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma is going to have that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you going to bum that you guys aren't going to go to the same school? Yep. Amanda keeps texting. She st stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's a meme. No, no, it's not. It is a meme. I don't think you get it. Okay. 
Who you texting? Nowhere. Who's nowhere? Fucking nowhere all. Do you know a guy? Yeah. I know a guy. My friend. Does he go to your school? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you like nowhere? What? No. Dad. Ugh. I can't believe you would. Dad. I mean, geez. Why would you? Ugh. Gross. Sorry. Sorry. That's your brother-in-law? Cool. Nowhere. That's a fucking strong-ass name, though, ain't it? Nowhere. It's a cool-ass name. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, okay. Jeez. This is gonna. This is going well. Well, good talk to you. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. Chicka, 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 wah. We drive to the, wherever the mall. A big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but it doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language, missy. Heck yeah. Better. <laughs> Language. Fuck yeah. We, <laughs> we approach the food court and evaluate our opinions. There's a greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Bread dipped with cheese on? Or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We draw a giant pile of chips and unnaturally orange cheese. This is definitely America then. For a very enthusiastic and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a tr rickety table and dig in. These are very bad, but also strangely delicious. You have to eat through the pain. I enjoy the flesh and go cheesy goodness together with all out nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? <laughs> Sigh. Which meme? All. All memes. Amanda sighs deep and places her head in her hands. Dad, it's a complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all the youths have already done that joke to death. And what's worse than that is that movies and TVs and video games will try to jump on the meme train, but just based on how long it takes them to make them, and the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out, so it just dates and isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh shit, what up? I remember that meme. In, I actually haven't seen that meme in ages. Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Want to go to the goth store? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of establishment. I don't know what story you're talking about. You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on where people fought for so hard against it in the punk and hardcore movements of 70s and 80s. Dude, you've got to be more specific. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. Amanda runs to the store with me trailing behind. She makes a beeline for the back. There it is. You can still see the outline, kinda. I'm so proud. Hot topic? Uh, sure, yeah, why not? I have no idea. Speech! Amanda. Speech, 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 speech. <clears throat> Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ancox <laughs> had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to the dead Gotham Beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for all said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Ooh. She began clapping, and slow at first and faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their head. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Oh, hey, chain wallets. <laughs> Why, while Amanda buries, busies herself among the... <laughs> buries herself. Among the band teachers that try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at in Dead Gotham Beyond. The one you threw up in one time. I know, right? Look at the air running. Check the clearance bin. Let's look at the mugs. I'm suddenly struck, stri stricken by the essential fear 
if there is only one number one dad, then why are there so many mugs here that say that? This whole time I thought I was the only one. If I'm not number one, where do I place in the global dad ranking charts? I have to work. I have work to do. Look, this is very important to me. Are you over here? Oh my fucking god! It's Caleb from The Sims. I love mugs. Cups are great. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An old gentleman's cry. Crying, carrying a garment and showing it to the bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Listen, when I bought this online, this website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, I received it. Clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it would seem that like I've outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. I'm not dating that guy. Fuck that guy. The, means w the man whirls around and storms out. His literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if he was Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. A man trots up with a t-shirt in hand. Oh boy, here he comes. Hey, Dad. Dadtron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt on the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. The cashier says nothing. And Amanda r r r rings Amanda rating hatred. I hand over 20. I've got pink hair as well. That means we're like, I'm cool as well. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her, her eyes so hard I worry she'll pull something. <laughs> That's great. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands a man her a bag and it clears the conversations over. Make her way for this out of the store and head home to get some rest. That guy was hot. Yeah. Uh, uh, eh. But I want to be the pale one in the relationship. I don't want someone else out paling me. Amanda and I sit on the couch, try to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool. Long haul paranormal ice road ghost truck is on. Your favorite... Right? That sounds really good. Oh, hell yeah. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but there's also haunting, hunting ghosts. They're, also, the trucks are haunted. This is the episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint, Dogbone. The twin brother truck driving the ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. This sounds like such an American TV show, but I would definitely watch it. Oh, no. The ghost done got out. Got, oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, it's like yeehaw, right? Yeehaw, no, the ghost don't got control of the truck. I can't steer on them, them, them ice roads. Let me use the EVP meter to try to communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying you're gonna die. Well, she did because we're about to die, you. Ah. This is art. This episode ends and Manor excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. I step a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterwards, I crawl into bed and get into a good night's sleep. Wow! We're going to save. We've not saved the game in a while. Wait, it is, it's a real show? Wait, is that an actual genuine show? Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. Whistle while you work? Yeah. We have cereal for breakfast. Fucking cereal. And spend the morning putting together furniture. Oh, it's called Supernatural. Has that got truckers in? Rednecks and stuff. Amanda is much better interpreting, interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a bookcase. So, you excited for a cookout today? Excited to beef my, my grilling skills? I'll see this as a learning opportunity. If I can sneak some hot grill tips, I think we can consider it a success. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? Not particularly. I'll probably end up standing comfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. My, this Mike is is me. He's me. Two brothers with ghosts and spirits and such. I might actually try to check it out. Watch a couple of episodes. Cringe a little bit. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. You will get you'll get to that butterfly to emerge to from the cocoon. That social butterfly. That sounds fucking horrible. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. What? No, we have to be fashionably. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're gonna we're going early just because you said that. 
I head out there and I'm at it reluctantly falls. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm terrible cook if I if it doesn't involve a grill. And I'm going to the toilet. Uh, good luck. Is it is it that bad? Is the show that bad? Squire's gone. Squire's back. Yep. Oh wow! Look at this. Does anybody like go to cookouts like this? Do, do people do this in America? Like put on all this like fancy fucking shit, like punch ball and stuff. This seems like very American thing to do. We don't really do it in the UK. Guess we're not as early as we thought. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in some small clusters. We set our veggie plate down on the table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to his to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. They can? Americans are far too fucking friendly. Scares me. Welcome. I'm so glad you two are here. He's plotting something. I see you brought veggies. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Oh. Oh. Oh my shit. This is Christian and Christy. They're twins. Oh yes, the, the yes, yes, the uh, fucking red rum twins, right? Yep. Then of course is our youngest, Chris. Wait, where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh. How could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Fucking hell, she's got some years on her, hasn't she? Look at her tits, though. She's got some banging titties. My God, though. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Chris to bed? I'll have to go look for him. <laughs> well, fucking, we got a kid, big, big titty goth wife. That's right. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Mary, this is our newest neighbor, Mike and his daughter Amanda. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. I, I love her. Mm, well, you can have her. Nice to meet you, Mary. Hmm. Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Ha ha ha, my wife has a wonderful sense of humor. Please, you two, enjoy the barbecue. All the guys here are really excited to meet you. See, I don't like this when someone invites you somewhere and then they, they tell you that they, everybody else that you're coming, hey, I just, oh my God, I invite my friend, da 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 da. Oh, great, he's so great. He's it's such a good laugh. And I'm fucking just the pressure. And then I just crumble. So don't, never, don't. Every, everyone expect me to say something stupid, embarrassing, and very disappointing, and you'll have a much better overall impression of me at the end. Bit top, top, top life tips. Otherwise, I, if if this was me, I would grab something and just go and stand in this corner. I'd just go and hold up the house right here. I'll just that'll be me. I just like my this would be my beeline every time this 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 road right here behind the back of the chair grab food back here boop 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 that would be me 
That's me right there, standing in the corner, right over there. Here, let me introduce you around. This is Robert. He lives across the way. A haggard man with a uh, nursing a glass of whiskey. Eyes me up and down. Rugged. Mmm. Nice. Hey. Hey, I'm Mike. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charmed. Mike and I, Mike and his daughters moved in next door. Cool. If you ever need recommendations of where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. I told you not to call me Rob. Right, got it. Oh, crackers. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. Well, I don't really drink, so we're not going to be going after him. He's not really a people person. Fucking me too. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everybody. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Man and I'll mill around trying to get some food. The food spread out on the table. I pick some deviled eggs. And Amanda grabs a small plate, small paper plate, and immediately begins, begins piling it with baked goods. Uh, I don't want to have to make friends. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? Nobody. I'm going to sit at home on my own. I'm going to go on to Twitch. I'm going to talk to chat and all the lovely people in chat. And it's going to be great. But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Dad. Ugh, they're going to talk about the weather. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly have my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. This is a plate of cookies, my new dad. Bye. Fucking bitch. Amanda shows me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around for the party. I'm surprised to see his familiar faces. Isn't that the barrister of the s coffee spoon? What a cool guy. What a cool... And mysterious. Didn't didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I know Craig. I put the, I put the, I put the little puppy. Wait, so all these people live in Akunaza? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Right. Obviously, we have to talk to Burger Time. Joseph clones his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the grace of easy, sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. Oh, shit, I just didn't read that. You guys think it's my first time in front of a grill? He's working fast now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One of a, one after another, dads take notice, and the crowd round Joseph to matter his beautiful techniques. You probably didn't know this, Mike, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. He's ungrillievable. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Let us keep studying. He's, he has a rare quality about him. When the fuck did you get this fucking flowery boopy in your hair? Must it, must it we keep talking about this camera just appreciate the artist? I've never seen him make a mistake. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please stop. All the children in the party boo in the glorious display of puns in unison. <laughs> All right, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Huh. Ha, ha, ha. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Yeah. Man, it's wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac, right? It's like the game is about dads and stuff in the, the same place. Kind of nice, isn't it? Feels like there's a real community here. Totally helped. When you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Mm -hmm. We're happy to see you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Tosa Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. If she decides to get into babysitting games, she'll make a real killing. So uh, it's almost like every child has a dad, right? It's so weird. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you add us all on dad book? Dad book? Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all setting it, so if you if you ever need to reach out to one, it's the simplest way to do it. Oh. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. Oh. Don't worry, pops. I'll help you figure it all out. The rest of us, the rest of the barbecue goes smooth. We'll all trade stories and drink beers as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Easter and Neil's weird train. Carmen Easter? What the fuck kind of name is that? I think they wanted her soul. Yeah, got an achievement. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? I got a burger. Sweet, if I can be imparting any sort of wisdom upon you right now, and not that that was a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. The silver lining get you. The silver lining get you through to the other side. We ate rocking burgs today. It was good. 
Amen. Well, hey, at least you get some of the cool dad juice. Hit them on my dad, dad book. Maybe I will if I ever figure out how social media works. Let's just save this bad boy. Commit to our decisions. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, dad. Chicka, 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 wah. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really here, really into the cauliflower. I love cauliflower's really good. All right. Who likes cauliflower? Come on, show of hands. Who likes cauliflower? Come on, which one of you likes cauliflower? I love cauliflower. Cauliflower is great. Hanayasai are pretty good. E, not you. Tebra, I think Tebra likes cauliflower. Litz likes cauliflower. Oni just said cauliflower. -for you know what you need to do with cauliflower? You need to get like a... Um, is it called a bechamel sauce? Like a white sauce, to, and then put shit ton of cheese in it. Get the cauliflower, pour all that sauce in on over the top of it. Get like more cheese, put it over the top. Bake that shit in the oven. Cauliflower cheese. Mm, that's good. And if you want to mix it up, add some color to it, because it's all like kind of that white. Fucking throw some broccoli in there. Cauliflower and broccoli cheese. Absolutely fucking top tier. Absolutely top tier tier it's so fucking good and then you spoon that shit out you can have it on like with like meats and like in potatoes and shit or let it just go like, like a little bit cold and put it on sandwiches mm. fuck it's good any big plans for the evening actually yeah i'm gonna go out with some friends you like cucumber and bro broccoli is the best cucumber is pretty good cucumber is pretty good they do in japan they do like miso and broccoli uh, miso and broccoli miso and cucumber it's pretty good with mayo as well. Japanese people love mayo. I don't know why. They just have this fascination with mayo. Japanese mayo is, is top tier though. Is that okay? Of course. Just keep me posted and be home before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. M make good choices. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the whole thing where we sign away for me to come in the home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No. I've never done that and I never will do that. Okay. Do you have any plans tonight? I, uh, my plans are to kind of eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something else to do. I'm going to stay at home. Throw a party. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if you can, I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list, but honestly, it's looking tight and you might just have to wait in line. I know the guy at the door. I'll probably get in no problem. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. This sounds fucking amazing. I love rosemary mashed potatoes and I love lamb. Lamb is my favorite meat, for sure. Although I do like venison as well and duck, but I think lamb... Mm -mm -mm. Lamb is definitely at the top. I'd love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making bread Alaskas all day instead of food of real nutrition and substance. Hell, yeah, that's like me. Lamb and venison. Venison is so fucking good. Man, Gavin Temp just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I'd lose track of time. You can't eat duck. As I played through several episodes of Wine and Dime Mess, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It just got a lot of yelling. I glanced at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. Send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I went into the kitchen as I... W oh, my God, it's actually got more rooms. They wait for a reply. Most phone's almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond. Soon, because I definitely thought it was better than text and drive. Wait, wee. Oh, yeah, you don't like duck. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I ruined it after a long day of socializing. Mm -mm -mm. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. This is kind of like my kitchen setup. Kind of. Kind of. But my cooker is, like, here. Everything's in a line. And then my fridge. There's not a lot of space, really, in my kitchen. I won't really call it a kitchen. Uh, do I call it? Do I call the cops? No, no, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just see it. send her a general reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only as a my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. 
So I keep pacing around the house, waiting for it to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going, who she was with? Why don't I know any of her friend's phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friend's full names? Who is Emma P? I decided to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the old things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally, she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sit up. Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yeah. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my text? Amanda pulls out her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see these. Those shows to her room. Amanda Ann. Oh, we're pulling out the middle names now. Amanda, you came home an, an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out and I was about to call the cops. Mm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. and you're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Ah, my fucking God. You can't talk to me like that. Are you serious? Stop treating me like I'm a child. Then stop acting like one. I told you to check in with me and you didn't. How am I supposed to trust to make good choice when you when you move out if you can't even check in with me? I sit down on the couch, put my head in pants. I feel very tired of all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just just please don't do that again. Mm. Fucking kids. Pain in the ass. All right, I'm going to go to bed now. Fucking kids. Man, to close the door to him and I head to mine. Jeez, look at the size of that fucking mug. Look at this fucking... What time is it? Jeez, I'm falling asleep. One thing she said to keep second in mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as his peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey, I thought about what you said last night. Should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I just didn't think about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well, I trust you to make good choices. Cho choices. I also thought about it and I'll try to give you space from here on out. i got to trust that you can take care of yourself. Team Cox? Team Cox. Uh, oh my God, sorry. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. I already did. Bless you. Amanda scoffs down the eggs and takes in the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, Master School, smile you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's Dad book? Oh, it's a social media platform. Wait. What? What's a social media platform? Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. I can't put together a Dad book profile on my own. All right, I'll help you. Sounds interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple minutes sending my profile on Dad which turns out to be a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. All right, pups, we've got to fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Ah, she, here we go. Friday night, w you are most likely to. Netflix and grill. They doesn't have play games on the internet and talk to chat. So, Netflix and Grill. If you had one thing to take you with you onto Desert Island, what would it be? Um, uh, a boat. A boat. What are your turn-ons? Wendy, hello, hello. How are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Good morning. What are your turn-ons? A strug dad arms, tennis shoes with long white socks, a well-manicured lawn, street smarts, top tier, top tier grillmanship. What did you do? What did you want to be when you grew up? A technical rider, salty boat captain, pro skater, good father, a president of space. A salty boat captain. What's your favorite movie genre? War, Sean Connery, anything on lazy. Sean Connery? Romantic comedies, whatever will make you cry. Old comedies that haven't aged well. Hell yeah. What's your ideal date? Napping, puzzle, healthy, geocache, arson, arson. What do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan, sick vape. Book, jumbles, a cool knife, a crippling low, my crippling low self-esteem. I spend a lot of time thinking about. Uh, when I can go home. That won't fuck it. 
profile complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that's actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. You should message one of them or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Manny gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Welcome. You've got dads. I've got dads. Oh. oh, what the fuck is this? Hi, Mike. It's me from... It's your dear old friend from way back in the day, Dad Mander. I'm delighted to see you've signed up for Dad Book. Uh, they've recently added this set of new messengers, so, so you can find yourself receiving messages from other friends. Take care of them. Mander, is that you? What are you doing on Dad Book? Why, Mike? I've never. We've known each other in business school. How could you possibly confuse me with amazing and talented and easy to buy things for your daughter? Though I am, of course, flattered by you should buy Amanda more things. Mander, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely managed to get my degree. Wait. No. Wow. I didn't say that. You've never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked very hard and ate all my vegetables. Totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you remember what I majored in? I declined to comment. Cool. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to type something. Ah. How am I liking it? It's okay, but it's a lot of reading. I'm kind of tired. Not going to lie. I might come back to this another day. We'll go on one date and then I'll call it. I will come back to it another day. Right, let's see. Craig, Matt, Brian, Robert, Damien, Hugo, and Joseph. Who are we going to go for? We've got to lay it. We've got to lay it on on Brian. Spends most of the days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking of ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Just see how slowly I can cook a piece of brisket. My fishing pole, a keen of steak cuts, a fireman. Message. Pay your bills early. That's right, Jeff. Man, I don't know. I feel like about hanging out with Brian more, but it just seems like Daisy and Amanda got along really well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang on, hang out with Brian for a more sake of my kids. I crack my knuckles and start typing. Hey, Brian, great grabbing burgers with you. Oh, okay. With you at the cookout yesterday, we should get the kids together and hang out so soon. I have a couple of minutes until a ding comes from my computer and a message pops up. Says, Brian, let's see what it has to say. Oh, hey, man. Always love a good burg with a buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think about mini golf? We could bring the girls and have a friends at a little friendly competition. Okay, Brian. He signed his name. That's cute. Brian, you're a fucking dumbass. It says Brian at the top. Friendly competition. This is perfect. I know Amanda will crush Brian in mini golf. I've been taking her to mini golf course since she was a little kid, and I'm proud to say that she's almost better than I am. Almost. I type back. That sounds great, man. Name the time and place, and we'll be there. Hey, Amanda. One second. Amanda walks through the doorway. Her eyes are a little puffy, as if she's been crying. You're for some. Hey, you all right? Oh yeah, I'm all right. I just got sad because I started thinking about how I'll never have telekinesis. If there's something going on, or even if you're just feeling sad, I'm here for you. You'll always be here for you. Thanks, Pop. Popsicle, but I'm serious. All I want is to lie in bed and be able to make barbecue chips levitate from the kitchen directly into my mouth. Well, I can't give you telekinesis, but I do have a solution that I might be pleased with. I went to get it and grab a bag of chips. I retrieve a single chip and toss it in Amanda's direction. Success, she catches it. Not quite telling Kinesis, but still fun. Hey, would you like to be up some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? I'm a little out of practice, and I, but I know my backswing leaves something to be desired, but I think I'll keep it in negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. You ready for this shit? I've been training. I did golf with friends yesterday. I'm going to... Is this a mini game? Do I actually get to do the proper golfing? Hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to die for me. Why are you talking like that? Because this is... Of course, he's pirate-themed. I just realized that now we're indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of a putt-putt course. Oh. Come on, pirate dad. Won't you talk like a pirate me? Arr, ahoy. Mm, scurvy. Avarshti. I'll make Blaine and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, or doubloon. Come on, Dad. You told me that this was going to be some friendly competition. Friendly competition. Is Dad cool for actual competition? I need to prepare my mind, body, and soul. It's just mini golf. Just mini golf. Fuck. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. Fucking gonna make her walk the plank. This is mutiny. 
I nail down and place hand on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it too much, but we have to beat him. Whatever happens is just having fun. Oh, we will have fun when we beat them. Amanda gives me a side eye, but before I can side eye her back, it's about Brian and Daisy. Ahoy there, mateys. Ahoy. Brian walks up to Daisy and told us like they're actually rented to some golf clubs for our mini golf club excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think of that? Because you didn't want to waste money. Fuck these guys. All right. First mate. I hear this buried treasure needs water. You got to help me plunder it. Oh, Amanda. I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just play put put on. Amanda gives Daisy a look. I mean, I, I, Cotton. Daisy, you're a fucking idiot. Daisy winks at Amanda. Ah, look at these two. There are two peas in a, po a, po a pod. So, you're excited to get on some mini golf in? Oh, you know it. You gambling man? Do I get you if I win? Gross. Ah, uh, Brian Brusty's clearly a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, the cringe. How about we lose the buys drinks? All right, but how about we make it a bit more interesting? I'm listening. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn for this weekend. Well, my yard's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? I think you should be a little more concerned about how you're going to maneuver around my hedges. It's high technical work, not for the faint of heart. I don't think I need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh, yeah? Hole in one every time. Why did I just say it's a, not a true thing, but it came off in my mouth, so I had to stand by it. Look forward to see that happen. Brian and I up each other. Maybe the best dad win. Shake hands. Look, guys, it's going down. Fuck yeah. Oh, my God. We do get to actually play it as well. Oh, wait, what? Boom! Wait, what's the what's the play here, chat? No! Ah, oh, big dicks. Wait, no, I'm here. Hiya! Oh, that one was rigged. No fucking shit. Oh! Wait, which one is it? Oh, it's that one. Oh, big fucking dicks! You can fucking shut the fuck up, please. Oh, straight in, baby. Hiya. Yes, get the fuck in there. Hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time destroying Brian Underfoot. I'm just asking because your eye is twitching. No, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrows. We're out, out there. If I remember, it's just a game. Fuck that. I'm out here to win. A game of the stream of the high stakes. We're currently winning. Dad, please, Amanda, please nail this next hole. We need to keep this streak going. If it's really that important to you, sure. Amanda walks over to the team for a particularly hard windmill hole. Oops. Disagree with her action, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. Fucking Amanda, I'm gonna... Here we go. Seems my daughter's betrayed me. Oh, Naya! Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, baby! Fucking A! Oh, yeah. Why does it have to be so powerful, though? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. Oh. Hi, yeah. Oh, you're supposed to rebound it. Wait, oh, it's that hole there. Oh, fuck off. That was dead line. Why is it so quickly? Oh, my God. <gasps> Go. Oh, yes. Oh, 
big dicks. Getting there, that's okay. An S and an A. Wait, what? I'm trying to maintain an impression them because they were chilling, but I can feel the crushing weight of the four dads before me, casting a disappointed look on me and my broken frame. I failed you. Thought, wait, what? Uh. What? What? Yeah. What? Oh, fuck off. Is that even... Like, even if you get perfect... Sc you'd have to get, like... What? I fucking scammed. Oh. I'm not even reading now. Fuck that. I got scammed. Can do. I'll make sure... Well, whatever. I'll read. Make sure you get perfectly amount of trouble. Skip away. Yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny rebellious heart. Well, I guess we should hit the bar now. There's actually a tiki bar attached to the place. How about that? Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Getting more sp guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which I'm not jazzed about because then I just completely blew it. You didn't know. The fucking game's rigged. Okay, Dad, you can do this. You just got to drown my sorrows in some tropical lose the drink and get out of here. Brian wanted a freaky tiki, a kitsy island theme bar. Palm trees adorn the walls and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. Brian now blah, 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 blah. Two pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips up two rum drinks at a hollowed out pineapple. He sets them on fire and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. I'll blow fucking Brian. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. Uh, best me again? I think not. I take a sip of my pineapple hospitality. Sorrow tastes fruity. My lawn needs very particular. I hope you're up for the challenge. Ah, don't worry. I bring my own salt to promote health to grow in a sustainable environment. Oh, come on now, Mike. I'm just having a little fun with you. I grumble and sip more of my fruity sorrow drink. Fine, fine. You got me on this one. I sip more of my drink. I notice the TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Always makes me want to own a deck. Oh, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Well, yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a genuine contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they're renovating these decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. It's a three-week jog minimum. All right. You want them to cover three weeks extensively in every episode? It can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch it. I don't like any of these home proof shows. I want to watch stuff that's real. Like long-haul paranormal ice road ghost truckers. I have terrible news for you, Mike. No. No. Not them too. That's the awful truth. Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. Those trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. I've been lied to for so long. We both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So wait, you're a genuine contractor? Sure am. I help, actually helped plan the cooler site we live in. Wow, nice work. Yeah, kind of took after a first step in the old man. He was a genuine, 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 genuine contractor, too. The best. He practically built half this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying to not become your father, and you wake up one day, and there you are. But I get... But I get ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I get to work with my hands and it pays more than enough to care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream. Hmm. I suppose the building stuff's already been a weak point as a dad, but I'm okay with it until now. Now I must defeat him. I do have patio furniture I have to put together. Still sitting in the garage. General equals genuine. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what? What? Maybe I should cool it with the dad comes in. You've got to keep it light. Oh, hell yeah. She's a genius. Definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. It's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble's really hard. I can barely make good words. Oh! Hot local... <laughs> Hot local daddy. Thank you very much for the follow. Much appreciated. Soup. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Hope you're having a good one. I barely make good letters. I have all the whole alphabet in front of me, let alone seven letters. Brian laughs. See, we can keep these things friendly here. It's a perfectly pleasant. I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove him better than him, obviously. That's the only reason, I think. Let's keep it moving. Compliment his beard. Dads, dads would love that, right? You're... Oh, yeah, your beard is nice. It looks very healthy. 
Thanks, I grew it myself. Oh, no fucking shit. Hey, you're not allowed to doubt a dad joke another dad. This is how our daughters feel at time. I'm upset. Hi, upset. I'm dad. No. I mean, you walk right into that one. That's dad joke 101. Listen, buddy, I took dad 101 years ago. I'm in the 400 level classes and well on the way to green heart tumor. A man must be so proud. She is not. I look around the room and take in all the kids' kitschy decor. Looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brian and I just to 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 do it. Cool fish. It's the deliver definitely fake. What really? Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. If I almost caught something like that fish once, mine was bigger though. Of course it was. Oh really? Yep, I went on a trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We're out in the sea for three days catch fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught them. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon on there. Oh, fucking love that shit, man. Fucking salt and lemon on fish? Mmm, that's some of the best food, right? That actually sounds amazing. It was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. Had my line out too. All of a sudden, it just starts running. So I jumped on the reel before it gets ripped out the rod rack and start fighting with the damn thing. I'm out there for like an hour. Can't call it to my shipmate. It's just man against nature. Finally, start to tuck the guy out. I get him onto the surface and finally get a sight of it. Biggest model I've ever seen. Hemingway-esque. I get onto the boat single-handedly. And you know what happens next? What happens next? The damn thing smacks me in the face with the tails, knocks me out. I wake up the next morning on the deck. Fish is gone. Never felt dumber. So we got away. I think there's another version of it of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to catch that fish, Captain Ahab style. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Ah oh man, fishing's the life. Haven't gone enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. What a piece of shit. Um, I'm amazing at fishing. I'm the best at fishing. No one can outfish me. I love fishing mini games, so hopefully there'll be a fishing mini game. Amazing at fishing. I'll take you fishing. Do you want to go fishing? Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. I know the perfect little fishing spot. I'll bring some beers. Sit there, relax, reeling some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on. Yeah, bring the beers and the kids. What could go wrong? You've been cornered. Yeah, yeah, okay. You have salt and lemon on your quiche right now because it's salmon. Oh, hell yeah. Exuberant high five. Yes, maybe we'll see if we catch some more fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. You can try and beat me, but they don't call me Mike good at fishing cocks for nothing. I am spinning a web of lies that I fear one day will consume me. Sounds like it will be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. Oh. <laughs> You're creeling me with these puns, Mike. Mull it over. You'll come round to my fish-related dad jokes in no time. Brian sends hand gives me a friendly but firm handshake to see that competitive fire in his eyes. It's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? That has to be at least three star hearts on this bad boy. Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the couch and flips on the TV. So I was hanging out with Brian. It was okay. Oh, yeah, he seems like a neat dude. I think so. Don't know. The guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you and Daisy end up doing? Oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit. So we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put it to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. Don't tell him I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian said she has a hard time relating to the kids. She kind of reminds me of you. You're, you're, you're her age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. I can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gotta hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. Ah! Oh, I told him I was an amazing fisherman. What? You hate fishing. I know. I'm kind of panicking. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, sorry. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn, sit silently in a boat on a lake for hours and end with no promise of a tangible reward. Your only companion being the fear and doubt you're harbored deep within your heart. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as the world darkens around you and you wonder if it's really 
staring at you back at yourself in the leak's reflection or simply just the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda, you're coming with us. It's my constitutional right to out right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming too. Well, hmm. I bet I could convince Brian to bring his dog. Fine, sold, I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gonna call it a night. Don't stay up too late. Kisses, kisses. Always try to make others around you happy. Definitely not. Oh, fucking sh- Whoa! Yeah! I'm a fucking dad, Chad. I'm a Chad dad. Fuck yeah. I'm fucking amazing at this game. I don't know how these points add up, but... Soft boy. One out of three. I'm doing my afternoon word jump and hear the mail truck pull through the cooler side. I would have sent a coupon. The nice mailman slides a coupon. Let's save. A large envelopes. It takes a couple of tries to get it in. Hey, my coupons. Take close little large envelope. Hmm. A lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has her headphones on. Amanda, she yells through the door. Why? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you put it later? Okay, just thought you were in this big old envelope that I got from here. Immediately then pushes the door open. She fucking lives in the dark like me. Horny Institute for the Arts. I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. Father, please. I <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Father, please. I hand her the envelope. She tears open with her teeth. That's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. And the suspense is killing me. Dream school. Man, face face unreal. Can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you did. I got in. Oh, you got in. Man, it's just a little sign. Gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. So proud of you. She pulls away and she pulls away and she looks at the letter again. Oh my God! I can't believe I got in. Of course you got in. You're a great student. You nailed that interview. And your photography, photography is incredible. Wait, Dad. I know this one's really expensive. It's so far away. I think for a moment. He uh, was one of the most expensive schools that men applied to, but I know she's had her heart centered for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Really? Of course. Man, hooks me again. Thanks, Papa. Okay, sweetie, we're accelerating tonight. Dinner, your choice. Whatever you want. Where wherever. Wherever. Whatever. A man and I walk along the bayside, tearing into full wrap burritos. I would love a fucking burrito. I've never had a real burrito, I don't think. You could have... Actually, I don't think I've ever had a burrito. I've never eaten a burrito in my life. You could have chosen anywhere, maybe way. Cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Give me a, just give me a Rito with a view. Can't say I'm the mad. I managed to stay in a patch of grass and watch the ships la sail lazily through the bay. And the domes are right a bunch near a bunch of cafes and all these galleries and shit. If you bring you nearby, Amanda, slow down. You're gonna choke on your burrito. You've never eaten a real burrito either. I've never even eaten a fake burrito, but I know I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors? We have professional Odin software for free. And I see a man who's so enthused about, about here. But I wish she wouldn't do it between bites of her burrito. I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder what my room is going to be. You can take a survey in line and they match you with someone with a similar major interest. I bet we're going to be best friends. Craig and I were. Good roommates can be a lifelong friend. I don't get even bad roommates. Oh, no. Just kidding. We didn't have a bad roommate. Our new roommate was a puppy about that Craig brought home one night. We spent a semester fabricating a story that our new foreign exchange student heard a really bad cough that sounded like a, like a dog's bark. Call ruled. Oh, they let they let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one. I bet I could forge one. I think get a rabbit or maybe a snake or maybe both. Would the rab would the snake eat a rabbit though? Oh boy, I think I'll leave it all up to you. I'm so excited. I don't want to disappoint her, but I don't need to. I need to be real for a second. So you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. I don't want to put a damper on good news, but I need to knock it out of the park with these last few months at school, okay? If you really want to go to the Hornies, we need a scholarship money. I know you can do it. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. Pat on the back. Think you can handle a 14-hour drive to come home for the holidays? There's going to be some treacherous ice roads to cross. I don't think get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it. I get to see you. My eyes immediately well up with tears. Oh! Ooh. Otherwise, I've made them myself and they were average. Uh, I've never made them either. Don't cry, Dad. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up. You're such a young person. I know they're important. You're to what I mean. Dad's probably going to make me cry too. Is it just you living on it? It's happening. Dad, I can't get the tears in my burrito. It's going to make it taste sad. I can kiss her on the forehead. Love you, kiddo. Love you too, pops. Wow. Never give up. Never remember. 
DB. Mate, listen. This is from... This is you from the past. Whoa, how'd that happen? I figured you're trying to reply to this because I know myself, but this is an automated mess from earlier from the morning when it was social and accepted to go out and buy ice cream. I forgot I did that. I forgot how I did that as well. The future is amazing. Listen, life is short. Ice cream should always be acceptable. Fortunately, this isn't the site we live in. Less society and we live in and more projecting my own anxiety about judging us, but you know what I mean. By the time you're reading this, it's a certain time of the day and nobody will bat an eye for going out for buying ice cream. You know what to do. Be good to me. Buy that up. Fucking dick. I'd like to eat direct from the top. Rocky Roll Pistachio. Oh, Amanda's probably going to want some too. Better get two tubs. She likes cookie dough ice cream, right? Hey, mister. Turn around and see. Er Who the fuck is this? Fucking Mount Vesuvius on his face. Ernest, you're cool, right? No. I'm about to go sprawl on the couch between a liter of ice cream and a basic cable package. And I have an intention of waking up in that position tomorrow morning. What do you think? Man, talking to you sucks. Can you just help me out? Help you out? There's no fire involved, is there? Just clouds. So if I give you $20, you buy me some e-liquid. Ernest, what's e-liquid? It's like uh, Gatorade, you know, electrolyte liquid. I'd get it myself, but I'm banned from here trying to run a grift at the con on the cashier. A classic fiddle game, you know the deal. Oh, if you're talking about balanced electrolytes, then I got you, little buddy. And I didn't know you played the fiddle. Just got to still clear it for blue crans and apple vortex. I search, a, search for blue crazy and void starer. I can't seem to find it. Turn to the cashier. Say, where's your finest e-liquid? Behind the counter, you got an idea? First of all, my daughter's older than you. Second of all, I'm flattered. I switched shampoo recently. Is it taking some years off? Look, you need to be 21 to buy vape juice. Your hair doesn't look a day over 20. Thanks. Wait a minute. Are you just trying to butter me up to get me to buy more ice cream? Because it's working. I glance outside and spot Ernest staring at double Double wait a minute. So you're telling me this e is not a sports drink? It's for vaping. Ernest is watching intently through the window. I better go give that kid a piece of my mind. I see. Okay, look, I'm going to pretend you didn't try to trick me to buy you the old Baphomet's cough syrup and go inside here to try to purchase my ice cream. I won't tell you die if you promise to scram. And stop vaping. You'll get popcorn long. What if I give you 25 bucks? Go home, Ernest. As I'm walking back, someone even calls after me. You can get popcorn long from microwave popcorn, you know. I no longer trust this child, but the mere notion strikes fear into my heart. Who the fuck is this kid? I go back inside to complete my purchase with the good cashier. Thank you, kind sir, for your time and generous hair compliments. You got it, bub. I glance out the window and see Ernest still outside. Looks like he's talking to some other poor sap. Guess I should go outside and save this other guy some grief. Wait a second, that's definitely a cop. Oh, boy. I grab my tub and ice cream belt outside. Ernest is already face down on the hood of a squad car. Ernest, did you seriously try to get a cop to buy you e-liquid? Do you know this kid? <laughs> Should we just drop the kid in it? Like, no. Who the fuck is this? Ernest. I don't even know whose fucking dad this is. No, fuck this kid. No idea who this kid is. I'm no way certain that he steals my newspaper every morning just to mess with me. I'm this boy's father. I turn around to see Robert walking up the street and towards the convenience store. Ernest, what are you doing? I want a lawyer. First of all, good first instinct. Remember that you're not required to answer any question from a police officer without a lawyer present. Ernest likes to lash out at me like this ever since the accident. Oh, um, I don't like talking about it. That's fine. Robert gets a wistful twinkle in his eye. This all started seven summers ago. My hair was long. New metal was still in the style. Ernest and I were down in Florida swampland scavenging for. Sir, I can leave you to take it from here. Sounds good. Thanks, officer. Ernest, come along now. You'll be cleaning out grout from the grain, gr 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 grain girder for a week. Thanks to this transgression. The police officer gets in his car and drives off. I'm just not about how cool Robin thinks. I just want to say, Richard, ouch. Don't mention it, Hemingway. Got in trouble plenty of times in my life to try to do my good deed for the day. Will you buy me liquid? Will you give you 20 dogs? Child, I will end you. <laughs> hey, Mike, will you walk Ernest home with me? Sure. No, fuck off. Okay, he reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. Well, maybe I, was, I wasn't as dumb. Seems like he tortures his dad. Seems like he tortures us about everybody. He even, he even stole your wallet. What? No, wait. I packed my back pocket. I packed the rest of my pocket. He stole my wallet. I what? Robert points my tubs of ice cream. 
One, th one of them's from a manor. I have no qualms with your quantum icing approach. It's the perfectly respectable amount of ice. It's the quality I'm talking about. You work hard, mate. You're a good dad. Don't think you deserve top shelf ice cream. But those were on sale. So you're going to treat yourself to go big or go home. Real vanilla bean. Real pistachio. You deserve it. Robert, how about you shut the fuck up and let me buy my cheap ass ice cream, which I can get quadruple the amount than a little tub. Ernest runs into this house. That boy is the reason why we don't have prizes in cereal anymore. Motherfucker. Catch you around, mate. Robert tossed me in my wallet. He catches me. I catch you with a surprised look on my face. I stole it back. Keep it in front of your front pocket or use the chain like back in your scar days. Smell you later. See ya, Robert. Wait, does he know about my scar? Don't trust gas station egg sandwiches. There you go. So, am I like two hearts now? Only one heart for all of that? Well, let's save anyway. Uh, you know what? I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this game. Oh, it's too much reading for one day. My throat hurts. Alright. I'm going to go and... Um, yeah, I'll be back. Smell you later, or you can think he's Gary Oak. <laughs> That's true. Does not wish to read any more words. I do not. It was good, though. It's a bit long, though, isn't it? Like, the... Um like, the whole, like, build-up is just, like, fucking, like, two hours. Must admit, though, the um, the thing is really good. I got three trading cards as well. Wow, there's a... 
Oh, so you go on three dates with the dads. Mm, I don't know. I might come back to it a bit later. We might come back to it, like, uh, later on today. I just need to rest for a bit. I'm done. I want to go build my boat. I dreamt about this fucking boat. So, we're going to build a boat. So, we all, you all know what that means, don't you? You all know what that game means. The gem is an arc. Exactly. The gem is on. We've got to build the gem is on.